Hey guys this is Rahul and you're going welcome to gomahamaya.com and in this tutorial we are going to learn how you can create a beautiful coming soon page or maintenance page using Seed Proud Pro this is a premium plugin that you need to make a purchase and why should you go for premium one because it has email collector it has timer it has social profiles and it has percentage to show how much percentage you have done in your work this plugin has three mode coming soon page maintenance page and the redirect page which will help you a lot in your website construction instead of showing a under construction website to your customers you show that beautiful front page for reaching this page you need to click on the link in the description box and you'll redirect to www.seatproud.com click on pricing and you have to scroll down and you, ha you have to check for the personal license the costing will be $29 click on add to cart and once you are on this page now you have to make a payment and download the plugin once you download the plugin you will get in the form of .zip file if it is not there you have to right click on this and say send to compress folder and you need to make it in the form of .zip file and now go back to your dashboard and in the dashboard you have to hover over plugin click on add new click on upload click on choose file and you have to choose this file see it proud and click on open click on install now and you'll get plugin installation successful message and next you have to click on activate plugin and they'll redirect you to the license part you have to enter the license and click on check license in order to make the update with the latest version once you are done with the license part, click on coming soon pro and here you have three options enable coming soon mode, enable maintenance mode and the enable redirect mode. Enable coming soon mode is for the people who is like establishing their website first time and enable maintenance mode is for the people who is making changes on their website and, and already have launched their website a long back. This is for them and for redirect mode is like i have already created my website and i want all the customers to redirect from demo to gomahamaya.com to gomahamaya.com or xyz.com to abc.com for that redirect mode is there so first this is our new website so i'll choose enable coming soon mode and once you are done click on save change now scroll down and you will see coming soon mode is highlighted in this area and if you want to see you have to open this link in a new tab say incognito mode and you can see only coming soon mode is there get ready something uh, cool is coming you have to enter the email and notify me we promise we will never spam and we have to make it more beautiful so minimize this and now click on edit coming soon mode and here you'll find three options save refresh desktop and mobile you can check out the display how it looks on desktop and how it looks on mobile version and here you'll find first option themes you can click on the theme and select a theme and you are ready to go you don't have to do much but in this tutorial i'll be telling you how you can make everything from beginning so now click on desktop now and click on content and here you'll find coming soon page this is the title and here you have to choose a logo for that that will come on the top choose image and let's say this is my logo says insert into post and scroll down and here will be your some text you can write your text and once you are done scroll down and thereafter you'll find section order logo first will be your logo headline this is your headline and next will be your description and next will be your forum this is called the forum and progress bar is not there counter is not there that we have to add social profile is not there that we have to add and share button is also not there that we have to add and let's say scroll down and next option is seo title seo description and google analytics code you can uh, go to google analytics for pasting the google analytics code and for uh, as your description and title i'll go i'll go to google.com and here i'll type wordpress and in the wordpress i'll get first option wordpress so for more basic detail what is seo title this is your seo title top one 
and next this is your meta description that is as your description so you have to write in such a way that it should describe your website and it should contain some keywords like best uh, blogging website or best e-commerce website in your area and you can write go mahamaya.com slash e-commerce website or blogging website it's up to you like that you can write in seo and you can write in description let's say scroll down and click on background setting and here we have white images this is your white color and let's say i want to choose some color for background and choose any other color like light pink this is fine you can choose any images and next click on choose images and click on upload file select images now select your image and say open and once it get uploaded click on insert images now scroll down and here you can upload more images for making a slideshow and let's say scroll down and if you want you can choose video background too like you on this and paste the url you can add a uh, youtube url direct url you can add in this area and it will be a background uh, video for that and i don't need now so i'll minimize this and let's say click on contain container and here's a color you have to choose the color for that and let's say i need some this color fine and contain radius will be outside radius so you can increase how much ever you want and make it more beautiful and content will be in the center maximum width and height you can choose and you can choose animation like fed in the way they'll come bounce it's all up to you and let's say click on element color you can choose button color and all these from element color let's say minimize this and say click on trophography and instead of this trophography i need some good trophography for all that for this trophography i'll go to google font you have to type google font in the google and you'll get first option fonts.google.com and from here you can see the example that which is the font that you like and you want that font to be here choose the name and type there let's say i need fauna one and you'll find fauna one in this option and you can see the text style got changed and you can choose a text color for this text line height font size you can manage from here each options are there for everything there's options and let's say minimize this click on email form setting and if you want name you can choose require name and display name it will show write a name and email and then notify me so i'll close this now and for saving subscribers you don't have to do, do anything you can save the subscriber in the database or you can choose any of the options these are the options to store your emails and this is paid version you have to pay for this and this is free so click on that database and once you are done scroll down and you have to say this message like uh, thank you is there so i'll write thanks for subscribing and once they subscribe this message they'll get and you can make it bold and let's say scroll down and click on social profile and enable social profile open that and click on add profile links choose the icon say facebook and you type facebook url like your page i'll say hash and let's say add profile link choose twitter and i'll say hash but you write your link and add one more and choose one more linkedin i'll say hash but you write all the links properly and once you are done you have to choose the size let's say i want to have two pixel and let's say click on social share button and from here you can enable social sharing too and let's say click on countdown and you can enable countdown for that and say enable this scroll down and choose the countdown time zone from which country you belongs to let's choose any one of the options let's see 000 is there and in date you have to choose like it will get end on 9th and time is there 
you can change the timing from here click on this timer to change the time and format is date hours minutes second if you will delete any of the options it will that will go away like remove s and see that second counter went off let's say add s again click anywhere and we'll get second counter and let's say click on progress bar you can enable progress bar too like you add starting date you add end date and uh, you can choose a manual percentage like how much percentage you have done till yet every day you can increase and let's say all of this now click on enable footer and scroll down and there you have options to use custom images or you can use afflating or you can use custom text and you want it to be in center right left like this it will come here here or here and let's say i want it to be in the left side it will come in this area and text credit will be at the rate go mahamaya and you can add credit link for this one and it will redirect to, to that particular website and let's say i'll choose gift color to it and make it to right center because it's not visible because of the color you can see this go mahamaya is coming here and click on customize text and you can notify me you can change this and you can change the name of email you can change the name of name if you have added name for that uh, text field is there then you can change the name and you can change we promise will never spam we, you are already subscribed if someone is already subscribed he'll get a message that you are already subscribed or if a email is invalid invalid email are there a lot of options are there you can add uh, change from here and let's say click on custom css if you have any custom css like you want to target a particular item let's say i want to target this logo so for that i need this id i'll take the id and i'll write hash control v id and now i'll give custom css for that why i i use hash is because this is id and this is if this is a class i have to use a dot in the beginning and for the more custom css you can refer w3 schools to target a particular item and let's say click on add advanced script and if you have any script to add in the header footer or conversion or import setting you can choose from here and once you are done click on save change and now we'll have look for mobile and this this is how it will look inside the mobile version and let's have a look for desktop version and it will looks for the desktop version let's say open this in a new tab open in a cognito window and paste the link and here you have to write your email id let's say i'll write some email id at the rate gmail.com and say notify me and you'll get a message that thank you and once you they are they are done you can go back and let's say go back to setting and click on subscribers and you'll find this email id is there and let's say select all how much ever emails are there let's say click on export all and apply you can export all the emails and you can upload to wherever you want you can send emails to your subscribers lot of options are there thank you guys thanks for watching if you have any question or doubt about this plugin let me know in the comment section i'll reply you soon